So, hello. This is my first ever video, and I had a little bit of difficulty choosing what game to play. At first, I wanted to play Minecraft, but then I thought, hey, everyone does that. So, I chose a game that I'm pretty comfortable with because it's one of my favorites. And as you can see, it's Mountain Blade Warband. So, I'm gonna start a new game. Warband is my favorite in the Mountain Blade series. Um, I like it more than the original and more than with Fire and Sword. And I can't wait until the second one comes out. Okay, here we go. Welcome, adventurer, to dis Diplomacy for Mountain Blade. Um, oh yeah, I also have the Diplomacy mod installed. Before beginning the game, you must create your character. Remember that in the traditional medieval society depicted in the game, war and politics are usually dominated by male members of the nobility. That does not, however, mean that you should not choose to play a female character or one who is not of noble birth. Male nobles may have a somewhat easier start, but women and commoners can attain all of the same goals and in fact may have a much more interesting, if more challenging, early game. So, um, I'm gonna pick a female because I'm female. Uh, I've played Mountain Blade with both males and females and it is a little harder to start out being a female but they're both pretty enjoyable. So, In the traditional medieval society depicted in the game, war and politics are usually dominated by male members of the nobility. Because of this, a female character can face initial prejudice and some opportunities open to men will not be available, although a woman will also have some opportunities a man will not. Some players might find distasteful, so if you want, you can ignore that aspect of society in Calradia. You can later change your mind through the options in the camp menu. Uh, it'd be probably easier if I choose the I would prefer not to, but... Hmm. Well, I can later change my mind, so I think I'm gonna at first go with I prefer not to. Okay. You were born years ago in a land far away. Your father was an impoverished noble. Noble. <laughs> a traveling merchant, a veteran warrior, a hunter, a step nomad, or a thief. Um. I'm gonna go with a veteran warrior. As a child, your family scrabbled out a meager living from your father's wages as a guardsman to the local lord. It was not an easy existence, and you were too poor to get much of an education. You learned mainly how to defend yourself on the streets with or without a weapon in hand. You started to learn about the world almost as soon as you could walk and talk. You spent your early life as... Uh, I'm gonna go with... A stepchild. As a girl growing out of childhood, you rode the great steps on a horse of your own, learning the ways of the grass and the desert. Although you sometimes went hungry, you became a skillful hunter and pathfinder in this trackless country. <laughs> your body too started to harden with muscle as you grew into the life of a nomad woman. Then as a young adult, life changed as it always does. You became... Um, uh, let's see... Uh, how about a university student? Oh, this is long. Probably won't read all of this. Although the distinction felt sudden to you, somewhere along the way you became you had become a woman and the whole world seemed to change around you. You found yourself as a student in the uni university of one of the great cities where you studied theology, philosophy, and medicine. But not all your lessons were learned in the lecture halls. You may or may not have joined in with your fellows as they roamed the alleys in search of wine, women, and a good fight. Wait, what? What? Uh, uh, okay, that's probably a mistake. However, you certainly were able to observe how a broken jaw is set or how an angry townsman can be persuaded to sit down his club and accept cash compensation. Sation. Oh, I can't talk. <laughs> for the destruction of his shop. But soon everything changed and you decided to strike out on your own as an adventurer. What made you take this decision was? Um... I'll just put Wanderlust. Okay. Only you know exactly what caused you to give up your old life and become an adventurer. You're not even sure when your home became a 
prison, only familiar became mundane, but your dreams of wandering have taken over your life. Whether you yearn for some faraway place or merely for the open road and the freedom to travel, you can no longer bear to stay in the same place. You simply went and never looked back. Okay, well, I'm gonna become an adventurer. Uh, realistic. Um, enter your name and distribute your tribute, skill, and weapon points. Okay. Oh. Sadra. Uh, it's pretty important to, at first, level up your strength, otherwise you'll get, like, killed by basically everyone. And then, after that, level up the rest, but I'm gonna put one into charisma. Iron Flesh is a good one to start out with leveling, and so is Power Strike if you want to be a warrior. Power Draw 2, um, Shield. Looting is a good one too. Uh, let's see. Tactics. Tactics will help um, your advantage at the start of a battle. Um, hmm. uh, persuasion is really good too. And yeah, I guess I'll go with that. Uh, it's a pretty good idea to level up the weapons that you don't plan on using so much. But at the start, I'm just gonna level up one handed and archery, because those are the ones I'm gonna use. Okay. Um. Hmm. She looks shiny. That's weird. Uh, I, I guess I'll go with that. Be a shiny person. Hair. Let's see. Oops. Oh. It's really sensitive. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna be bold. Hmm. Uh, I think the first one looks the best actually, and I'm young. Hair color. Uh, that's about as close as I'll get. And. Um. Let's see, eyebrow shape. Temple width. This ratio. Um. Hmm. Uh, whatever, that's good enough. <laughs> okay. Um, you hear about Calradia. A land torn between rebel kingdoms battling each other for supremacy. A haven for knights and mercenaries. Cutthroats and adventurers, all willing to risk their lives in pursuit of fortune, power, or glory. In this land which holds great dangers and even greater opportunities, you believe that you may leave your past behind and start a new life. You feel that finally, you hold the key of your destiny in your hands, free to choose as you will, and that whatever course you take, great adventures will await you. Drawn by the stories you hear about Calradia and its kingdoms, you... Um, so... These... Depending on what you choose, that'll be the kingdom you start in. Um, so, uh, the Sarenid Sultanate isn't a very good one to start out in. Uh, Swadia is okay to start in, but really the best ones to start in are probably between the Nords, the Kurgit Kanat. I, I still don't know how to pronounce that. The Vagers or the Rodox. Um, the Kyrgyz are good because basically everyone rides a horse in battle, which can give you a pretty good advantage, except it doesn't matter if you're attacking a castle because then you won't ride horses. So I think I'm gonna join the kingdom of the Rodox. I came by ship, skirting the cliffs where the Rodox Highlands meet the sea. Much of the coastline was obscured by tendrils of fog that snaked down the river valleys, but occasionally you caught sight of a castle watchtower rising above the mists, and on one occasion, a beacon fire burning to warn of an enemy warband. You knew that you were relatively safe at sea, as you were too far south to risk encountering the sea raiders who troubled the coasts of the Nordic lands, but it was still a relief to reach the Selver Estuary gateway to the port of Jelkalka and see a... Jelkala. Color. Okay, and see a Rodok galley riding at anchor, its pendants fluttering in the evening breeze. Continue. <sighs> I'm exhausted, I fall asleep, 
I go onto the streets and I hear the rasp of a blade sliding from its scabbard. Oh my god. So let's start this. Okay, um. Rrr, I'm gonna go into first person. Okay. Let's see. I don't, I don't see anyone. <laughs> um. Guess I'll head this way. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh god. Um. So. It has pretty basic controls. You block with right click. You hit with left click. Oops. Okay. Uh, yeah, that should be the only bandit. Okay, so. Oh, oh my god, look at my face. <laughs> okay, Merchant of Jalkalka. Are you alright? Well, I guess you're alive at any rate. I'm not sure that we can say the same for the other fellow. That's one less thief to trouble our streets at night, although heaven knows he won't be the last. Anyway, maybe you can help me with something. Let's talk more inside. Out here, we don't know who's listening. The merchant takes you to his house. Once inside, he stands by the door for a while, checking the street, and then finally convinced you have not been followed, comes near you to speak. Okay. So it's F to talk with someone. Now, let me explain my proposition. We've always had brigands in the hills, driven to banditry by war, debt, or love of violence. Recently, however, they've been getting bolder, leaving their camps in the wild and venturing into town, looking for unwary prey. The watch commander tells us is, is tells us <laughs> tells us it's because of all the fighting on the frontiers, fewer men to keep an eye on the streets. But I'm not sure what to make of that. It seems to me that the most logical explanation is that these bandits have an ally inside the walls who helps them enter unnoticed and helps them identify particularly tempting targets. Last week, you see, they took my brother. Oh no. I don't know what my brother was thinking. Something about ransom. And he doesn't want to pay it. Um, so, basically, he wants me to gather a small party um, and free his brother and he'll give me some money. So... I'm interested. So, la, 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 la. wants me to round up a group of volunteers. There's always a few lads in the villages around here looking for a bit of work that's more interesting than tilling the soil or hauling water. Um, so he's given me a hundred dinars, and I need to get at least five men. So uh, after I do that, I have to meet him in the tavern in Jalkala. Okay. Uh, press Q to view quests. Okay, so it's tab to leave a town, and okay. Well, that was the textures kind of. <laughs> uh, oh, I didn't want to move there. Okay. Oh. Um, I, I don't think it's supposed to look like that. Maybe it's because it's modded. Okay, so I'm going to head over to Bouvron. You can hold control and space when traveling to make it go faster. Okay, four, so I need like one more person. So you can see it says five next to my character's name. Okay, so where else? Okay, I'm gonna head to this town over here. I don't recommend using first. Okay, <laughs> that's just villagers. And those are looters, though. Okay, those are looters, too. Oh my god, I thought they were villagers. Okay. I don't recommend using fast travel on a map if you have a small party. Because then, if you're not paying attention, bandits and s people... Uh, what? Uh, <laughs> um, they can attack you. Uh, that's a weird... Okay, it's not going away. Um, probably go away after I enter town or something. Okay, uh, so... I guess I have to go to... Oh, it's not going away. <laughs> okay, um... It will eventually. Uh... Hmm. Oh, <laughs> I can't even see the castle. Okay, so... Um, no one, really? That's weird. It's really weird. Um... Okay. 
Well, I still need one more person. So I'm gonna have to. I guess go here. You better oh my god. Be a man hunter. Oh my god. How many are there? Uh, nine. Alright. Alright. This doesn't look so bad. The texture is better actually with diplomacy. Okay. Let's see. Oh, hang on. That's better. Okay, so. Wait, where are they? Okay, so I guess they're across the river. This doesn't look so good. Five versus nine. Fortunately, a lot of them aren't even wearing proper clothing, so. Uh. Uh. uh <laughs> I totally missed. Oh my god. Okay. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, they're throwing stones at me. Um. It doesn't seem that likely that we'll win. So. Oh no, I didn't want to stab. Uh. It's pretty hard to stab when you're on a horse, so. You should just. Yeah, do that. Oh, good, we got one guy unconscious. 